It is the most important process. If I trust somebody, I'm going to work with them. If I don't trust somebody in the nicest way, I just don't want to work with them. So how do you figure out whether you trust somebody or not? What's, what's almost like a process to do that? Because um, I'm naive. I, I believe everybody face value. You know, it's like when your children are young, you're looking at this angelic, angelic little five-year-old with chocolate all down here going, it wasn't me, mummy. And, <laughs> and your heart wants to believe them, but you can see the evidence. Mm. So you need to provide some chocolate cake evidence. Are they trustworthy or are they not? Will they be able to behave in a difficult situation where things are tough? Or are they going to go into a hornet's nest of panic? Because the hornet's nest of panic is an uncomfortable place for them, and it's definitely very uncomfortable for you. And that's really where people go. So, I truly say spend six months getting to know your partner. Work out how they behave in a group. They are going to be gorgeous to you on a one-to-one, -one because frankly, you've got the golden egg, you know, and the golden goose, and they would like some of that. Um, so, uh, in a nicest way, everybody is nice to me. Um, but are they nice? One of the things we use is are they nice to my team? You know, when they give them the coats and they put the badges on. If they are not nice to my team, it's the dating test, L lads. If you're taking a lady out to impress her, do be nice to the waiter because we are watching how you how you behave that way. So we, and I don't mean that, but because some people will perceive, you know, that dreadful sentence of organ and monkey, you know, organ grinder and monkey. Um, Actually, I want to see that they are equally decent and respectful, because really what you're looking at is respect to everybody in the chain of command. And that's really important to me. If they behave well to my team, fabulous. If they behave poorly to my team, I will not work with them, no matter how much money they've got. Six to nine touch Found points. envelopes on the end table there. <laughs> Six to nine touch points. So I don't count email as a touch point. I don't count, oh, it's just lovely to meet you. You know, I happen to have met you somewhere. We didn't plan that. I want to plan my phone calls. I want to plan the times I'm spending meeting with you. I want to agree an agenda in advance. Shall we meet and shall we talk about this? Great. You know, you're giving up skin in the game, time to spend with me. I'm giving up time to spend with you. We're committing to a level of a relationship that we both hope will end up in a highly profitable working property relationship. And I don't think you can get past this. I was very interested. We've got quite a nice profile. We're known to be very honest, we're known to tell the truth, we're known to have done, you know, walk the walk, we know, you know, we're on deal 204 now, you know, we're really rocking it, 45 million quid's worth of property for purchase price of 30 million quid. You know, we, we got form. So I was really interested to see, does having form and does having a profile and does having um, a status, if you like, you know, or a perceived status, does that shorten the process? No. Does it? No. Because it's nothing about me, it's about the other person and how they develop trust in me and my team or don't develop trust in me and my team. So you can't shortcut this process. And I found that really fascinating because I, I kind of presumed you would, but you can't. So you need to know if you want to do joint ventures. Remember this morning you wrote down how many JVs you want to do? So if you want to do some JVs in six months, you've got to start now. Holly. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that fluttering of eye? I've had kids. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> and I do, it, it, I, my number one criteria for working with people is do I trust them? You heard earlier, it's not so much about how much money have they got, it's do I trust them, do I like working with them? And trust makes it easier to work together. And frankly, when things go wrong, trust holds you together when you're both going, oh, darn, you know, the roof needs mending. Okay, we trust each other, we'll get through this together. We have each other's back. So it's absolutely relationships.